All right, guys, welcome back to the Big Gentleman Studio. Today, we've got James in the chair. How are you, mate? No, I'm good, thank you. You're good, good. yeah? Yep. Good, good. So, what are we doing today? What's the plan? So, um, we're going for like a Timothy Chalamet. Ah, nice. Tom, I've got photos. Not a lot off, but just shaping and then yeah. like finding the right products because the day after I put products in, it looks great. It yeah. looks a lot more natural, but then on the night, for example, it looks, you know, a bit more wet and greasier. So, this is my hair like on a night out. Okay. So, uh, How recent so, is this photograph? This was like, this was New Year's Eve. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. So it's, you know, a bit wetter, greasier, not how I really want it to be. Okay, yeah. And then this has been like a day after, so yeah, it's a lot more, do you know what I mean? Different. Yeah, it's softer, the curls. It's softer, curls softer yeah. and yeah, um, okay. just so it looks better. Yeah, yeah. And then the kind of stuff that I want. Yes. So it's, it's kind of an in-between between, between <laughs> Timothy Chalamet um, Callum, Mullen, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Tom Holland with like long hair. Oh, wow, yeah, um, okay. That kind of stuff. You okay, know? cool. I think you're probably more naturally closer to Callum. You reckon? Yeah, I would okay. say more naturally closer. His hair is not as curly as yours, but no. I, what you've got to remember though is that Timothy Chalamet and Tom Holland have both had their hair professionally styled. Yeah, of course, of course. Callum yeah. hasn't. Yeah. That's why I'm saying you're more closer to him. Right, okay. Right? Yeah. So that's what I mean. When we talk about being like more realistic and being closer to the what it will look like naturally is what yeah. is based on a normal, on like a regular guy do tomorrow. Yeah. every single day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? More than a, a celebrity who's had a hairstyle yeah, uh, yeah, done yeah. for them uh, yeah. by somebody else. Um, so I think what we need to do with yours, we need to try and break down your curl a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so that, that will come with the haircut at the same time as the, the styling product yeah. as well and how you style it. The next day though, however... Without it being heavily, heavily styled, it's very hard to do. Yeah, yeah. I All right. Know. So I think we might have to. I, mean, I think maybe when you get a haircut that is designed for that look, then it will, be, it will obviously be yeah. a lot easier. So on the day, it will be a lot, obviously a lot easier. I guess the, even the day after would probably be even better. But I think we just need to really give you the haircut for it and just help you break these curls down a bit. Because yeah. at the moment, it all feels very the same length all over. It doesn't seem to be many layers to it or anything like that at all. But you're not too far off. I think it I is know, just shape. I know, yeah? I know, I know. I've been I'm putting your um, hair sea, sea salt spray. Yeah. And then I've got this coconut serum that okay. I started using recently and they're like anti frizz. Okay. Okay. And then and then um some clay in my hand with yeah. some water. Okay. And then Right, okay. I'd probably suggest not putting the water in the clay. Depending hang on actually, that's a lie. What type of clay is it? Is I've got it, it in my bag. Have you got it in your bag? Yeah. Do you want to grab it out for me if you don't mind? Yeah. I brought everything that I use, so yeah, cool. you can tell me if it's good or not. Yeah, yeah, not a problem at all. Um, is that eight triple eight shampoo? Yeah, is it? yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the clay. You can, if you want to chuck it. All yeah, there, chuck it on there. Yeah, got a little shot. Yeah, yeah. I only started using the serum recently, but it's been okay. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So you're using the eight triple eight coconut milk shampoo. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, fudge, always good. Yeah, that's a good salt spray actually. Yeah. Uh, I've never used that before. Yeah. Uh, anti frizz serum. It's been quite good. Has it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony, guys. Okay, the men one. Okay. The thing with the sea salt spray is that I've got the curl already, so yeah. I think it might be anti. What okay. I, what okay. I want. I've got a feeling that you mixing that with water is going to actually give you zero hold because uh, it feels quite wet anyway. Yeah. What I'd probably suggest you doing. And then at the end of the night. Oh yeah. This is what it goes to. Is that through like, is that, is that when you've been out? Is it like? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It went up like, oh, wow. like, you know what I mean? Do you know what like, it's like, yeah, have you seen one? No, but it's, it looks, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Jimmy boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's gonna love that. But what I would suggest though is, cause I want to use all these products on you at the end. I don't want to use anything that I've got. I, okay. want, I want you to start, cause you spent a lot of money on them already. Well, are they the right yeah, products? Yeah, they're fine. Because I think For you're just using them the wrong way. Ah, uh, okay. So what I think, you don't think you really need the serum when okay. it comes to styling. I think that should be more as a something to put in your hair when you're not styling your hair. Yeah, that's probably, I've probably started using that because it's been like three months of growth. Okay, yeah, that so makes then... sense. Yeah, that makes sense. The, what, the shampoo's great. The salt spray is good. What I would probably suggest you doing is I would put the salt spray in straight away after you've towel dried your hair from the shower. Okay. okay? Then as it's dried off a little bit, I then put the clay in when it's wet and then I would style it with heat. And I think that's what you'll uh, get. That's another thing. I'm so um, undereducated about hair dryers. That's fine. I, I wouldn't expect and you to be. diffusers, apparently. I need to get a diffuser. 
No, I wouldn't use diffuser on yours. Yours is too curly. There you go, on edge coach. Yeah, I would, I'd, use, I'd use a nozzle. Yeah, because you want to take the curl out a little bit. You oh, want it to be okay. more wavy. More wavy. If I was to put, if I was yeah, put yeah. diffuser on it, it'd probably make it more curly. Okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you how to use your products properly. Okay. Because yeah. they are, they're fine to use. Good, yeah. good styling product. Um, the Frizz, Anti Frizz Serum, probably yeah. maybe used on the days you don't style it. Yeah. Salt spray is great. Shampoo, great yeah. as well. Are you using a conditioner though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which uh, one? Oh, uh, oh. Um, I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. That's but you are using a triple A. Yeah. And sometimes I um, co wash. Okay. Like with the conditioner. But, okay. And, and then it, it's even more greasier. So I don't know. Okay. So I think leave the shake to me. Okay. I know what you're going for. Yeah, leave, you know leave everything else to me, right? But let yeah. me give you some advice on shampoo and conditioning. I think I've... How do you dry your hair? I might sound crazy, but the minute you get out of the shower, what do you do? Like, literally nothing. Like, towel dry it. How do you then... towel dry it? Show me, show me how you towel like, dry it. Just, just... Okay, okay. You nothing, pat. yeah. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't rub no. it vigorously. Okay, that's good. Because that's one thing I always have to tell people what to do. Because that cause... keeps it in, like, yeah. the moisture. Yeah. But it, it stops static. Yeah. It stops it from going frizzier. Yeah. Um, it stops it from tangling as much as well. Mm. Um, you, you look after your hair. I can run my fingers through your hair. It's not getting tangled. That's a good sign. I, you know, I get clients in who don't know half of what you know. And the minute I put my fingers in the hair, it gets stuck. Right. Yours isn't doing that. As you can see, I'm, I'm not... We've, we've not... Let's just... For camera... We've not touched your hair at all, have we? You came in exactly like this, no. right? Yeah. So as you can see, my fingers aren't getting stuck and you've got product in your hair as well, right? Yeah. It's not getting stuck, okay? You look after your hair. So what you're doing so far is brilliant. Like, yeah. just honestly, just I just gotta tweak you a little bit. That's all, yeah. just a little bit of guidance, yeah? But I'm, I'm just so glad that you've, you've done the research on it because you, you know, you've grown your hair out, you've got curly hair, you've got very hard hair to manage and maintain. So you've, what you've been I'm doing- I'm glad so I have it though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think you suit it as well. I like the whole look. I think you really, really suit it. I think we just need to put Thanks, it Dan. a bit more. You're welcome, mate. You're welcome. But I think I think let's just get it a bit more into the style that you're going for. Everything else, let's just uh, let's just tweak a little bit towards the end. Yeah. yeah. Sound good, yeah? All right, cool. Well, let's give this a shampoo and condition. Cool. I'll maybe maybe I'll, I'll just ask you about your shampoo and condition routine as well while we're doing it. And you yeah. and I'll just let, let's see if I can help you with that as well. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. Yeah, I think there's certain parts of your, like the back, you need more length at the back here. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, only because you've got your, your hairline. I mean, you've. You know what? Um, have you trimmed the, yeah, the neckline? Yeah, so every yeah? month or so, I've, I've got a funny story about this. Every month or so, I've asked my <laughs> mum or my sister to, like, do a. Have you seen it right now? <laughs> yeah. No, no I, I have seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have, I, yeah, yeah. So um, I've got them to do it. Okay. One time, my mum, it went not great. Okay. Um, can, it, can I ask you? Can I? Ask, can we? Can we speak to someone on the camera now, and can you show with us? What the back? Yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen the back. In okay, a while. right. Okay, so can you tell your mum? Gone a bit too high, okay? Because you've actually took off the nape. Oh. Uh, See. So, the nape would finish about here. So you've gone about half an inch too high up into the neckline. The only worry, you've, well, you just got to be careful of looking like a bob. Oh god. Because can you see the way it like it's quite high at the bottom here? You you kind of need when you've got longer hair, you need all of the hairline. She's like, only ever cut off or just shaved away the like little fuzz. Yeah, but Nothing the problem. Yeah, yeah, but fuzzing curly hair. Where's the fuzz when you got curly hair? Do you see what I mean? So neck hair sometimes because you 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 don't look like a particularly hairy guy, right? So I think the fuzz may have been mistaken for just a curly neckline. Well, it's okay. got a bit too high, but it's not. It's not. Look, I, you won't be able to tell today. It's cleaner. That's the only thing. It does. It does look cleaner. I, I agree. The only thing going, is because I have quite a low neckline. Yeah. That's the yeah. Only thing. That would benefit you right now, though. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. But don't worry. I mean, look, it's not. It's okay. not the end of the world. You won't even tell. You can't tell. But all I'd say is just try and stay as close to the natural hairline as possible. And all you do there is just pull in. Basically, lift up the hair. Right. Best way. Anyone watching, mate, right? pick up the hair and just see what falls out the hands. And you go from the neckline. That's kind of that's a that's a rough way of knowing what you need to trim off. But if you go too high, if you start sectioning bits off, that's when you're going into the hairline. Mm. Um, but look, you, you're luckily enough that you've got, like you said, a low neckline and you've got long hair, so you're all right. Just okay. anyone, if if anyone was thinking scared of doing me it, then, Dan. what's that? Oh, it scared me. Then. No, no, I, did. I I wanted to scare you a little bit because I wanted you to not do any DIY trims. So I had to put the fear of God into you then a little bit, mate. All right. So which one of the products have you got in your hair now? Have you got all, have you got all of them? In the um, but I haven't shampooed okay. for a few days. Okay, cool. Um, but I've got all of them in, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. 
So I, it was dry this morning. Right. Um, I got in the shower because I, I was planning to shampoo it when I went to the gym. Right. Um, anyway. Um, oh, that's fine. You don't have to worry about that for me. That dried. I then put the um, sea salt spray in and then, yeah, the coconut right. and then the... Right, okay. The so you've got the salt spray and the, the, the serum and the clay. Okay, yeah. cool. Washing out nicely though. Yeah. Seems to be washing out. Okay, yeah. So, in terms of like your shampoo and conditioning routine, can you just talk me through an average week of what it'd be like for you? Yeah. Um, so, I say I wash. I try to wash my hair like in the night before I go to bed. Okay. Um, and then I'll go to bed when it's kind of you know it naturally dries pretty quickly. Okay. Um, just so that when I wake up in the morning, it's not like if I if I shampoo on the day, usually it will just be really big. You know. Yeah accentuate the frizz and all of that okay um and then every other day i'll like a conditioner it would wash with conditioner right okay um but this isn't set in the stone like it's yeah this is just an idea yeah yeah, yeah. it's gonna That's have fine. to be i'm starting a law degree in um 10 days so oh, okay. i'm gonna cool. have to be a lot more routine okay well that's that leads me on to giving you a routine now yeah. okay so what i'd always suggest is I think for your texture, I think because you're using a lot of product as well, I'd say three times a week, okay? I'd Wash say three times a week. And condition three times a week. Wow, okay. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Discipline, routine, it's great for anything, right? The gym, your hair, skincare yeah. routine, everything, right? It's perfect for, right? So Monday morning yeah. is when you do your first shampoo. So after, what day are we on today? Wednesday today. Okay, Friday would be your next one, okay? Okay. Now, two shampoos and then one condition afterwards, okay? So your first shampoo, as you probably, as you'll see on the video, you can't see right now, but as you'll see on the video, it doesn't lather up much at all, okay? okay? Because you've got product in there, you've also got natural oil buildup as well. Yeah. So what will happen is the oil, or any of the oil in the products, it basically just like repels the water and the product itself, like the shampoo, repels yeah. it. So you don't get much, much going on. What you do is you do your first shampoo, and then you do another shampoo. So you wash that off, and then do another shampoo. Now I generally use about that much. Okay. Okay, shampoo. Just about maybe like a 50 pence piece size, yeah. okay? Now, the second shampoo is where the lather comes in. So you'll notice this on camera now, is how much that's lathering up compared to the first shampoo. So because we've washed away most of the product, we've emulsified most of the product, we've got rid of all that. As you can see now, and you'll see it on camera, look how much more that foams up, right? So before there was hardly any, now- Could you use the same amount? Loads. Same amount? Right yeah, same amount. Now what we do, work that in, across, so don't go in circles, work side to side, okay? Across the top like that, and then back to front, through the sides and the back. Yep. But when in circles, because you've got curly hair and long hair, it'd wrap around my finger, it'd pull, it'd be yeah. uncomfortable, okay? So yeah. it goes side to side, okay? Yeah. And work it through the hair. Now there's loads of foam now, because we've broken down all the products. So now yeah. we're cleaning your hair, okay? First time we're just getting rid of the product, now we're cleaning your scalp and your hair. Now, my only concern when you say with the co-washing, right, when you're using the conditioner to do it, yeah. is that you're just putting conditioner on top of oil. Yeah. You're not doing anything to it. You're not really Maybe letting it soak in. Is from. It will, it, I don't know, I can't always say for sure, but I've never been a big fan because I've, it's never really worked for, when I've done it myself. I've just, I've felt my hair's gone really limp and quite heavy, you know? Mm. Once you wash the shampoo off, make sure you wash it right off, okay? So this is a wash, okay? The condition you rinse, but I'll talk you through that in a second. Yeah. Now, as you wake that through, make sure you get rid of all the suds of the shampoo, right? There we go. Make sure you get rid of all that. Now, two, there's, there's the second shampoo done, right? Your hair is thoroughly, thoroughly washed, yeah. okay? Like so, okay? There we go. Now, put the conditioner in. Use the same amount of conditioner as you have shampoo. Okay, rule of thumb. Yeah. Now, when it comes to conditioner, think about how vigorous we were before, right? This is almost like a massage now, yeah. okay? In terms of how you apply it. A lot of the time I style it with conditioner. Sometimes yeah, I have done cool. in the past. Yeah, that's cool. It can, it can just, it's, it, 
can but this then it turns a... very curly. Yeah, it will. It will do. Yeah, like, yeah. Really yeah. seriously curly. My 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 middle boy has got a uh, curly hair, and oh, yeah. we we do that as well. We want yeah. his hair to go curly because it just seems to just be so. A lot of condition has got a little bit of oil in, so yeah. it, t- it tends to like really really curl it up. Yeah. What we do now is you work it into your curls. Okay, so what we want to work with your curls, right? Yeah. Your curls will fall out with the styling. We yeah. don't want to cut your curls out. We want mm-hmm. to actually work with your curls. We want yeah. to just style it differently, right? Yeah. So we do working it through. I just work it through my fingers like this. And this is a natural way of detangling. So you're quite lucky, right? You don't have, you've got hardly any tangle, if, yeah. if any, right? Yeah. But anyone watching, if you do have any sort of tangles, this is a really good way of naturally detangling your hair, okay? By working it through your fingers. So just joining your fingers and pulling it through. Now you get a little bit of shedding, which is what you've got there. Now this is something you don't have to be alarmed about. You're not losing your hair. Everyone panics, right? It's just natural shedding, okay? It's just something that will fall out naturally as you work your fingers through your hair. Do not worry. Unless you're pulling hair out in chunks, like yeah. out of one particular area, that's when you need to worry. Yeah. But this is just natural, okay? Now, if you, if you once you've got rid of all your, your tangles out, mm-hmm. wide tooth comb is always good just to work the product through, okay. okay? Just like that. Now, you need to leave it in for two to three minutes for it to really work. Now, I'll explain why that is. The reason we tend to leave this conditioner in and what, what, what works really, really well is that when your hair is wet and it's warm, your hair opens up like this, right? Mm. Now you wash out all the impurities, all the oil, all the products, etc., etc. when it's warm and wet like that. Then once you rinse out the shampoo, you put the conditioner on, then it takes two to three minutes for your hair to naturally close over, right? Because it gets cool mm. and it closes over like that. So all that conditioner is locked in the hair. Then you rinse off with cool water or cold water, whatever you can take, right? I do that to be fair. Yeah, that's perfect. Shower, so. That's that's ideal. Because what it does, the warm water opens the hair. Yeah. Right? The same as humans. You know, when people like, like yourself, I'm sure if you go to any humid uh, places, when you've got curly hair or frizzy hair, it just goes, yeah. right? It's because the hair opens up and it basically doubles in size, right? Yeah. So by washing it with cold water, you're keeping the hair closed and all that conditioner locked in. You're just rinsing the top layer off. What a lot of people do is they put conditioner on top of oil. Mm. Then they rinse it off with warm water. So you've actually done absolutely nothing yeah. to your hair. The conditioner's probably not even gone, not even worked. Mm. And you're just wasting the conditioner. Whereas if you do it like this, the best way to leave the conditioner in without standing in the shower, like everyone, everyone always thinks that you have to like just stand there for like two or three minutes, but you don't have to. Just continue your shower routine. Okay, maybe brush your teeth on them days in the shower, mm-hmm. just to kind of kill two minutes, you know? Yeah. Um, and then rinse it all off with cold yeah. water. And that's the best way to do it, yeah. all right? So give that a go. So cold water, you happy with cold water, yeah? yeah. You sure? Yeah. Put you on camera in, mate, okay? Ready, yeah? So count to 10, that's all you need to do. 10 no, seconds, I, I rinse. I cold water all the time. No, no, ice bath. count to 10 when it comes oh. to rinsing off, yeah. Are you, do, I, do you do ice bath? Yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, that, you're braver than me, mate. Right, so count to 10, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. No, ten. That's all you need to do. Okay. Constant. You're not again. You're not really washing the conditioner out. Okay. You're just rinsing the top layer. Everything else is locked into the hair. You've locked right. it in. You've closed it in because the hair's stayed shut. Yeah. You're not rinsing that conditioner out. So what are you actually rinsing out then? You're just rinsing the top layer of conditioner. Oh, right. the top of the hair. That's all you're okay. doing. Condition. Everything starts within. Right. Diet. Plenty of water. Mm-hmm. Products will only will only do so much, right? You've got to look after it from the inside out, right? Yeah. Which you seem to do. You go to the gym, you look quite lean. You know what I mean? You, you're obviously looking after yourself, right? All right, besides the hangovers, you're looking after yourself, but that's <laughs> fine. You know, you're young, that's fine, right? So we come to drying it, like we said before. Again, we don't rub it. Just pat dry and scrunch, okay? Yeah. Like so. That's the thing, if I'm out for 12 hours, not on, not on the um, lager beers, but I mean, as in, if I'm out, out and about for twelve yeah. hours, how do I keep it looking good the whole time, or is that just not really realistic? A lot of the time, it's very hard with with your texture hair mm. to make it look great twelve hours, fourteen yeah. hours on. I know. With my hair, pomade straight yeah, you're fine. stays looking the same, right? Yeah, it's very, very difficult when you go. Not, not just your hair texture, but longer hair as well, because it's weather dependent. <laughs> it's not, it's never weatherproof. This, what, if I go out now in the wind, that will not move, yeah. right? So it's weatherproof, right? With, especially with the pomade that I've been using lately. Did Timothy Chalamet, right? If you see him in a, on a red carpet and there's a bit of wind, his hair's flying all over the place. But then yeah. you'll see his hair starts going in it, and fix but... it. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's things that, it'll, look, it'll still look nice. You know, yeah. sometimes wind swept when you've got the right haircut, when you've got the right haircut, actually it still looks great, you know what I mean? And now I'm just going to section it off and work through in the shape that we're trying to cut it in. So again, the Timothy Chalamet look, 
It's very textured, it's still got quite a lot of length in it. It's still got a lot of top heaviness to it though as well. So I don't, I don't think any length, as in the overall length, needs to be changed at all from the top to the back and sides. I think we just need to put that balance back into it. So this is almost going to be cut in a way that is as though you were growing here. Because I still think you need to grow it. Yeah. And I think we need to cut it in the same way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a razor on this. And I'm going to use the razor to create the finish. So very wide sections, horseshoe sections to start with, very wide palm to palm sections, and then working horizontally through the top. I just want to put the shape into it. This comes down to styling and aftercare, I think personally. And then that way you just keep growing it out. And then hopefully you'll find the way the hair falls and everything at the end will be, be exactly how you like it. Yep. Starting from recession points, so we get across the top. Again, we just want to use this to balance out the haircut. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Because the length is good. We need length in it. We need longer layers through this haircut. If you look at a lot of the um, the stars that, that you see, like Timothy Chalamet with, I think it's, you know, he has really one style, but it's all different vari variations in length and, and lived in and, and everything else. Sometimes it's a little bit less curly. Sometimes it's a lot curlier. I think that's the beauty is what you've got, James, is that you've got the curls. You can, exa you can exaggerate them or you can pull them out a bit more. Yeah. So, start off on the right-hand side. Very wide sections, three fingers in width, starting from the recession point. So we leave that little bit up there, but that just gets pulled into the section. So using the texture razor, I'm going to create some movement in this now. I'll pull this all into the middle, okay? Right into the middle. Over direct in the front and behind my fingers. And pull it out. I'm going to take some length, probably just maybe just over halfway, I'd say. Like so, just through here. And I'll work this to my fingers. Like so. There's a guy at the top. Weigh that down to match the length at the very bottom. So, what we're doing is we're breaking up them curls now. So, they're not going to be as tight, they're going to be a little bit more broken down, a bit more serrated. That's what we're looking for. So sometimes on a haircut like this, less is more. Yeah. And I think you, you, you get that, James. Like you're, you're, you, 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 I know straight away you said, I don't think you need anything off. That, that was your, they were your words at the start. Yeah. Right? Problem is, psychology behind getting a haircut is a lot of guys want to walk out with haircuts off. So I think you've got to get past your own psychology of not actually getting a lot off mm. to create the shape that you're going for. Yeah. So I'm, I'm probably talking, I'm not talking to you on that one. I'm talking to probably maybe people who are watching sometimes that you've got to not get a lot of hair taken off to then create a whole new look. And I, I know it sounds mad, you wouldn't think that makes makes any sense, but you'll see just from your haircut today, mate, mm. you'll, you'll notice what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah, because I was talking to my friends about my hair recently. Not, I don't, that's not a usual thing, just <laughs> once in blue moon. And um, they were like, oh no, you can't pull that off, you've got too curly hair. But I just thought, if I get it done, maybe then. Please, are you going to see them tonight by any chance? Or because that'd be quite cool if you could do like a grand reveal. I've got football tonight, so yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Five side. There we go. So again, sticking with the same thing, looking for the guide from the previous section, and just working it down. There's the guide at the top. Working it all the way down. I'm starting to get a lot more finish in there now. Look at that side. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. No. It just curls. Yeah. That side is very loose. So there the difference just from, and, and that we haven't took any length off, as in like the perimeter or anything like that at all. Yeah. That's just pulling everything into the middle and using the technique of a razor. So if there are any barbers or hairdressers watching, when you're working on the kind of texture that we're, we're working with now, if I was to do this all over, it would look very frizzy if I used the razor to a short haircut on, on James's hair or anyone with a similar texture. But because we're keeping a lot of James's hair in, like, like just from his, his old haircut, what we're doing is we're just creating little bits out to kind of give him that kind of broken up, serrated finish which I think will really, really benefit him as it grows out too. And then all we need to do now is just get it to, to balance into what we need to get to to that point of, uh, of the Timothy Chalamet look. Just gonna pick little bits up and just slide in. Just to add a little bit more texture. So as you can see, I'm just picking them up quite randomly. I'm just gonna take little bits down the bottom as well. So this is all about secondary shape. Primary shape is 
his old haircut, basically. So this is all about secondary shape. This is the thing that's just going to create the look that he's going for without removing too much length and just allowing him to play around with it, get a different shape. I just want this to be quite easy for you, James, as well, mate, mm -hmm. if I'm honest. You know, I don't want this to be a, a hard hairstyle to go for. I think yeah. it should be something that is, is relatively easy to, to, to pull off. I mean, again, when you, when you pick a celebrity, it's very hard to make sure you get that haircut exactly right because it's obviously been done by somebody else. Oh, yeah. But, you know, if you can get as close to that as possible, that's yeah. perfect then, right? I mean, the goal is that, like, um, people can see where the influence has come from. Yeah, yeah. And it's not, like, copied, copied, if you know what I mean. Yeah, of course, yeah, 100%. You don't want it to be, like, a, a, a sort of copycat picture, do you? you want, no, like you said, you I just mean, want he's it to got be... great hair. Yeah, yeah. He really has. I think, I like Tom Holland's look, though. I think that's a really cool look. Yeah. I just was surprised how wavy and curly Tom Holland's hair was. I know it's been yeah. accentuated, but yeah. you wouldn't think it in, when you see him in, like, you know, Spider-Man or whatever. You wouldn't yeah. think his hair was that curly. Yeah. Holding like a pen, sliding through. I just want to do this just to break the ends away a little bit. There we go. And see what it was like before. Now you can see yourself, James, what it was like, how different the sides are now compared yeah. to what it was just looking at that left, left hand side before. Mm. So, through the top, again, we're just going to put the shape into this. So I'm going to comb this out. Again, nice wide sections. Probably more two fingers in width now, more than three fingers, because uh, again, we're just, you know, just trying to add the shape in a little bit more. What we need to do, I'm just going to pull this out to halfway, because I want the top to still be a little bit longer, but I just want to try and give it a little bit more shape. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to use the razor and work across like so, just to connect it at the halfway point. Same again, just before centre. As we get to the top, where he's just past the centre, nothing will come off. There's my guy just there. Now, same thing again, I'm going to work in the interior now, just to break that up a little bit. Just to match up to everyone else. Now, I think that's all we need to do. I think we just need to dry this off and style it out now. So, let's get your products. So, Bristol spray. Okay, Is that six. all you need? Yeah. I've been drenching it in salt spray. Oh, no, that's, no, no, you don't need a lot at all. Uh, I just scrunch this in. Like that. Right, just scrunch it in. Okay. And we're just going to do this off centre. I'm going to go from right, left to right because you've got a bit more height. Your hair wants to fall naturally that way. So I think we want a bit more height, so I'm going to pull it the other way, okay? And now, that should be dry then. Now, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use about that much to start with, okay. okay? I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand as well. Yep. In case I need to use it. So, hands are just pretty much dry. I'm going to, do, I'm going to scrunch this into your hair. And don't forget your hair is still damp, so you will lose a little bit of it. That's why I put a bit more on the back of my hand, okay? okay. I'm going to use a little bit more because that seems to have got. So I'm going to use whatever I had on the back of my hand there. I'm going to work this through the front now because mm -hmm. I want hold. I want movement. I want everything to stay looking good, right? From as a day again, we're looking for 12 hours here, right? For example. So, right, this in, like so. Right. So, again, I would stay with the nozzle over a diffuser. I think the diffuser would just make it very big, very curly. I think you want it to be more softer. More okay. wavy, okay? Mm -hmm. So, medium speed, high heat. We're gonna use our fingers to style it, okay? We start at the front, and we'll check how this is gonna pull out, okay? To get more wave. 
just from that first bit there, okay? Now, do the same all the way through. Through the hairline first. Twisting at the ends? Yeah, just, well, from the middle ends, yeah, from here. Okay. Just twisting it like that, yeah. So when you came in, you had like, a bit like ringlets when you came in, there you're gonna have a softer finish, okay? okay. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah. Where are you gonna part it from? What's that, sorry? Are you parting it from where it is now? Just or? from where it naturally wants to fall over. I'm just running my fingers through it. It seems to just want to fall there. Very natural finish, yeah. I'm not, it will part, probably part more in the middle. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get a bit more lift in it. So I'm just going a little bit off the center mm -hmm. from left to right. Yeah. Now I'm just twisting it and then pinching it. Twisting it, pinching it, okay? Like so. Like, oh, to give lift at the roots, but then twisting it to have that softer finish. Okay. But if you're trying to apply a clay on afterwards, it just doesn't really work as well. Because it's, it's usually for like shorter hair, more yeah. than longer hair. But clay is the right thing to use. Yeah, I'd say clay is fine, mate. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd say so. Like that. Cold air, if you've got the cold air function on your hair dryer, just a little button there, or we'll just mm -hmm. turn the heat off, okay? Just from a distance, again, low speed, press the cold air button, and then just shake your head left and right for me if you don't mind. That's it. Keep going. Perfect, that's great. Just wanna cool the hair down a little bit. Use two hands to start it out. And then pick, basically you can look at a photograph and just pick how you want it to look, really. But based off memory, and the way your hair wants to naturally fall for the length you've got, I think something like that looks really cool. So can you see the difference when you came in? You had like ringlets. Mm. Now, bit of product in, breaking it up with a razor. You've now got wave. How would it look with the center parting? Yeah, fine. How would you want it to look really, mate? It's entirely up to you. I wouldn't have it bang on the center. I'd have it just off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just have a little bit of height in the front here. But yeah, you can have however you want. Very, that's very more Tom Holland like that. And then it all just comes down to you just taking your time to pick the bits up that you want. What do you reckon looks best? A bit of both. And then do, do the curtains come forward or no? No, I just let them fall off the face a little bit more. But I'd probably have it more like that. Now what you could always do is uh, a little bit of hairspray. Just to finish it off, just to keep it in like kind of place like this, because it obviously, you know, a bit of wind, things like that. We are in winter as well. Mm -hmm. and all I do is just, just to finish it off a little bit, is just put it on and just pat it like that. And all that will do is put a sheen on the hair a little bit as well, so it'll make it a little bit more of a natural shine as well to it, which is all quite nice. How long should I grow it out for before I next cut? I'd probably say about another three months, I'd say. Yeah. But I think it looks really nice, man. And then you can just obviously just tweak little bits mm -hmm. that you want. But all I've done is I've just used the razor to break up the, the curl. Kept all the length of what you came in with, apart from like this bit here, tiny, tiny bit off. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, like mainly the kind of the, the thickness in, within the hair. And I've just styled it for you. Again, a lot of these haircuts aren't always the hair cut. It's mm -hmm. sometimes the styles, it's the dressing of the hair. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure he has, a, he doesn't have a haircut as often as well, maybe like every week or whatever. Mm -hmm. Probably has a cut over periods of months if he's in a film or whatever. So yeah. it needs to be dressed differently or dressed the same all the time. Mm -hmm. That's, I didn't do anything, anything like incredibly hard to do. It's just using the nozzle and using the products the correct way around. So what you want to do is for the Tom Holland, bring it more in. Okay, so it's a little bit flatter a little bit more wavy towards the end. I think for the Timothy Chalamet, you want it a bit more wilder all over. So more than kind of twisting it onto your face, bring it off your face and kind of pinch it up, like kind of go from the, the, the tip up to the root mm. and do that like that. And that was what will give you that more looser, more rounder kind of finish as well. But both ways works really well. I mean, it looks really nice though, man. Yeah, happy, yeah? It's great, thank cool. you very thank much. Thank you, I'll see you in three months time. Yeah, yeah definitely. Thanks, man.